Good morning, friends. So I hope that you have tried this problem on your own, which is printing odd and even numbers by two threads sequentially in order. Uh, so in this uh, tutorial, let, let's solve this problem together. So I already opened my IntelliJ and I have created this uh, test case first. And I've created uh, two uh, source code classes as well. Something as odd even monitor and odd even thread. So this odd even thread would be the actual thread, which would be uh, created for odd thread and even thread and which will be printing numbers uh, accordingly. Like odd thread will print only the odd numbers and even thread will only print the even thread. And we will use this second uh, object, second class audio monitor, which would be doing the thread coordination. Because here it's very important to coordinate between these two threads that which should print first. Or we will start with odd thread first to start printing with one. And then even thread, once it prints it, it will some way it will uh, notify that it has done printing and even thread will take over and then write the even number and so on. So let's write uh, the unit test case and then we will uh, look into that how to implement it by using a proper thread coordination. So first of all, let me create and uh, the monitor first. So or even monitor I will create, although I haven't implemented anything yet, but let's create a placeholder first. So we have got this, uh, I'll just call it as monitor. And I prefer to use final war. Okay, and similarly, now I will create the odd thread. So odd thread is for this class, odd even thread, uh, which will implement. So I will uh, just have a implements enable first, because this would be treating as my MS method and alt enter implement methods and run. So we have got a dummy run method, empty run method, which will implement later. So now we'll create the odd thread. So for this, I will create the new thread object and say new odd even thread. And uh, okay, I will, I will pass the other constructors later, but let's create this odd thread. So I've given a name as odd thread and let's control alt V, which would be my odd thread. Okay. And again, I will mark it as final. Maybe wall is okay. We can just change it or not. It's all okay. And similarly, I'll create for even thread, even thread, and mark it as even thread. Okay. So because in the problem statement, it's given that name the two threads as odd thread and even thread, and that's where we have given this parameter. So all the thread constructor have got a second parameter where we can pause, uh, create the thread name. So we created these two threads with the proper thread name as given in the problem statement. And once these are created, I will start or start both the threads. And similarly, I will start the even thread. And now I will also, once I start it, before this test case ends, I will join them. Join this and join this as well. It is you should throw interpret exception and that's why it's showing here. So add exception to this. Okay. So we haven't used this monitor here. So I will pass this as monitor here. Uh, and also I will uh, have an indication that whether it's a odd or even. So for that, what we can do is we can, I just go back to here and I create two variables, which indicates whether it's a, it's an odd thread or an even thread and also pass this odd even monitor object here. Okay, so let's create it as a private final odd even monitor. And I'll call it as monitor again, monitor's finals. Uh, and also I'll create whether this thread is odd or even by creating this Boolean, which is, is odd. So if this is odd would be true for, a, or for the odd thread, and uh, false for even thread. Because this is a marked as final, I need to in include it into the constructor. So I just pass it as a constructor here, okay? It is showing two different problems because in our test case, we have to pass this as a here. So in our odd even test, we have to pass this. Okay, so for this, we have to pass this monitor that we have created above. And it should be the same common object which would be used for coordination between odd threads and even threads. So here it would be true for the odd because it's odd, it's true. And similarly for even thread, 
it would be monitor again and false okay so what we mean is that uh, because we have to use a common monitor object this monitor object would be working as the only object which is used for coordination between these two threads it has to be common and then we have this boolean flag but that it's odd for odd thread it should be is or is true and for even thread it's or is false okay so we are done with our very basic structure now let's implement our run method 